Up to the 1980s coal mining was the backbone of this city in West Yorkshire. The landscape had been mined since the 15th century, around the time Wakefield witnessed a decisive battle during the Wars of the Roses. Let's explore the best things to do in Wakefield. Number 1 The Hepworth Opened on the River Calder in 2011 this acclaimed art gallery was designed by David Chipperfield and won UK Museum of the Year in 2017. The Hepworth showcases Wakefield's first-class art collection. Central to that are masterpieces by Henry Moore and of course, Barbara Hepworth whose family donated 44 aluminium and plaster working models to the gallery. Number 2 National Coal Mining Museum for England After the Cap House Colliery closed in 1985 it found a new lease of life as a museum about the history of mining in England. This mine was sunk in the 1770s and was the last deep coal mine in the country when it shut down. Building and machinery like the coal screening plant, boiler house, steam winding house and pit head baths are all in situ. Number 3 Yorkshire Sculpture Park in the grounds of Breton Hall is a world-class and ever-changing exhibition of modern and contemporary sculpture. Billed as the UK's leading outdoor gallery, the Yorkshire Sculpture Park's collection is partly made up of works that featured at temporary exhibitions in London parks from the 40s to the 70s. Number 4 Nostel Priory and Parkland On the site of a dissolved medieval priory, this lavish Palladian house was designed by James Payne and Robert Adam as a statement of wealth for the Wynne family. The house was begun in 1733 and enhanced by successive generations of the family, each keen to project a message about their power and social status. Number 5 Wakefield Cathedral At 75 meters Wakefield Cathedral's spire is the highest in Yorkshire. Constructed on top of a Saxon church, the cathedral has lots of original medieval design, from Norman to perpendicular Gothic. Between 1858 and 1874 the Victorian master restorer George Gilbert Scott and his son John Oldred Scott regenerated the building after more than a hundred years of disuse. Number 6 Chantry Chapel of St. Mary the Virgin The oldest and finest example of just four surviving bridge chapels in England, this stunning monument dates to 1356. The chapel is built from sandstone on a small island on the Calder, along a nine-arched bridge completed in the same year. The main facade is made up of five exuberantly carved panels, representing the Annunciation, Nativity, Resurrection, Ascension, and the Descent of the Holy Ghost. Number 7 Wakefield Museum In 2013 the Town Museum moved into the new development at Wakefield 1 and was officially opened by Sir David Attenborough. The exhibitions here deal with different strands of the city's past, like the War of the Roses in the 15th century, the local rugby league club Wakefield Trinity, and the 420-year story of Wakefield Prison. Number 8 Theatre Royal Opened in 1894, Theatre Royal is Wakefield's prime performing arts centre. The building was designed by Frank Matcham, who conceived dozens of theatres across the country in this period. Theatre Royal has the smallest auditorium of Matcham's theatres still standing, and incorporates of an earlier theatre building. Number 9 New Miller Dam Country Park A calm spot for lakeside walks, New Miller Dam Country Park is a little way south of Wakefield city centre. For centuries New Miller Dam was a noble estate owned by the Pilkington family. Their residence was eventually demolished because of subsidence in the 1960s, but a few buildings around the park are still here. Number 10 Pontefract Castle Some way east but still within Wakefield's city limits, Pontefract Castle had a fearsome reputation in medieval times. The castle was laid low in the Civil War in 1649, as it had been a royalist stronghold and withstood a series of sieges. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.